to natural systems. Now we're going to look at a, a project inspired by natural processes. And the real hero for this project is the Namibian fog basking beetle. And this beetle has evolved a way of harvesting its own fresh water in a desert location. And the way it does this is that it uh, comes out of its hiding place at night. Um, it radiates heat out to the night sky, so it becomes just slightly cooler than its surroundings. And when the uh, moist breeze blows in off the sea, you get these droplets of water forming on the beetle's shell. Just before morning, it tips its shell up, the water runs down to its mouth, it has a good drink, and then goes off and hides for the rest of the day. I think it's fair to say it's not a great quality of life, but it is a clever trick. And I'm working on this project with an engineer, engineer called Bill Watts and a chap called Charlie Payton, who invented the seawater greenhouse. Uh, it's an absolutely brilliant bit of, of sustainable design. It's designed for coastal arid regions. And the way that it works is that if it evaporates seawater from grills on the windward side and condenses that moisture as fresh water on the leeward side in a process almost identical to the beetle just using the sun, the wind, and a tiny amount of pumping energy. The remarkable thing about this scheme was that it was actually producing more fresh water than it needed for the plants inside. It was nowhere near a town, so they just decided to spread this surplus water on the land around. This photo was taken just after completion, and two years later, it looked like this. So it was like a green ink blot spreading out from the building, turning barren land back into biologically productive land. And in that sense, I would argue it's actually going beyond sustainable design to achieve restorative design. 